Here lies the untold story of Catherine the Great Scandals. In the 1700s, the Russian Empress, renowned for her political prowess, harbored secrets behind palace walls. Affairs, power struggles, and whispered intrigues. But what truly lay beneath her regal facade? Let's delve into the enigmatic life of this remarkable ruler. Chapter 1. The Legend of Catherine the Great. History is a tapestry of intertwined lives, decisions, and legacies. Few figures have captivated the world as much as Catherine the Great, Empress of Russia. Her reign from 1762 to 1796 transformed Russia into a major European power. Yet her political achievements often share the spotlight with the myriad of scandals that have become almost inseparable from her legacy. Catherine, born Sophie Friedrich Auguste von Anhalt Zerbst, was more than an empress, she was a woman of passions, intelligence, and complexities that have fueled stories for centuries. Catherine's life reads like a novel. She was a minor German princess who rose to the zenith of power, a woman who loved fiercely and ruled with an iron will. But beneath her grandeur lies a series of scandals that, whether true or fabricated, have colored historical accounts. Let's dive into the untold stories of Catherine the Great Scandals and separate the myth from reality. Chapter 2. The Ascent to Power Before the scandals, there was the rise. Catherine married Peter III of Russia, a union arranged to solidify political alliances. From the start, their marriage was troubled. Peter was eccentric, immature, and disinterested in Catherine. She, on the other hand, was ambitious and intelligent, quickly immersing herself in Russian culture and politics. When Peter ascended the throne, his erratic behavior alienated the nobility and military. Catherine, sensing an opportunity, orchestrated a coup. In July 1762, with the support of the powerful Orlov brothers and other key military figures, Peter was deposed and later died under mysterious circumstances. Catherine ascended the throne, an impressive feat that set the stage for her long and influential reign. However, this dramatic rise also sparked the first of many rumors and scandals. Chapter 3. The Lover's Empress Catherine's love life is perhaps the most scandalous aspect of her legacy. Unlike many monarchs who maintained discreet affairs, Catherine's relationships were often public and politically significant. She had numerous lovers, many of whom she showered with titles, estates, and wealth. Her lovers, known as favorites, played crucial roles in her court and government, leading to whispers and outright accusations of impropriety. One of her most famous lovers was Grigory Potemkin. Their relationship was intense and transformative. Potemkin was more than a lover, he was a partner in her political and military endeavors. Together, they expanded the Russian Empire, notably annexing Crimea. Despite the scandal their relationship incited, Potemkin and Catherine shared a deep bond that transcended mere romance. Her succession of young lovers, often selected for their looks and charm, further fueled rumors. Critics accused her of debauchery and questioned her ability to govern effectively. Yet, Catherine remained unfazed, continuing her affairs and demonstrating a keen ability to balance personal desires with political responsibilities. Chapter 4. The Equine Myth No discussion of Catherine's scandals would be complete without addressing the most infamous and salacious myth the rumor that she died attempting to engage in sexual activity with a horse. This grotesque story is utterly unfounded and was likely propagated by her enemies to tarnish her reputation. It reflects the extreme lengths to which detractors would go to undermine a powerful woman. The origin of this myth is murky, but it gained traction in the years following her death, illustrating the persistent misogyny and sensationalism that plagued powerful women. The truth is far less scandalous Catherine died of a stroke at the age of 67. The equine myth persists as a dark testament to the lengths people will go to slander a formidable female ruler. Chapter 5. The Shadow of Serfdom While Catherine is celebrated for her contributions to Russian enlightenment and expansion, her policies on serfdom cast a long shadow. Catherine initially showed interest in improving the lives of serfs and considered progressive reforms. However, the Pugachev Rebellion of 1, 77375, a massive serf uprising, drastically altered her stance. Fearing further unrest, Catherine tightened control over the serfs, effectively binding them more firmly to their landlords. 
Her handling of serfdom remains one of the most criticized aspects of her reign. Critics argue that her failure to address the plight of the serfs perpetuated a system of oppression and hindered social progress. This paradox an enlightened ruler who upheld a repressive system adds complexity to her legacy and invites scrutiny of her motives and decisions. Chapter 6. The Imperial Ambitions. Catherine's expansionist policies were both her triumph and her scandal. Her aggressive foreign policy led to significant territorial gains, including parts of Poland, Crimea, and territories along the Black Sea. These expansions, however, came at a great cost. The partitions of Poland, conducted with Prussia and Austria, effectively erased Poland from the map for over a century. This move, while a geopolitical victory, was seen by many as a ruthless and opportunistic act of imperialism. The annexation of Crimea, too, was fraught with controversy. While it bolstered Russia's strategic position, it also set the stage for ongoing conflicts in the region that echo to this day. Chapter 7. The Enlightened Autocrat. Catherine prided herself on being an enlightened ruler. She corresponded with Voltaire, Diderot, and other leading intellectuals of the Enlightenment, promoting arts, education, and science within Russia. Her attempts to modernize Russia were groundbreaking, including the establishment of the Smolny Institute for Noble Maidens, the first state-funded institution for women's education in Europe. However, her enlightened ideals often clashed with her autocratic practices. While she championed education and legal reform, she was equally quick to quash dissent and consolidate power. The contradiction between her enlightened rhetoric and autocratic rule led some contemporaries and historians to question her sincerity and label her a hypocrite. Chapter 8. The Court of Scandal. Catherine's court was a hotbed of intrigue and scandal. Her lavish lifestyle and the opulence of her court drew both admiration and envy. The expenditure on palaces, artworks, and luxurious items was immense, and critics argued that this extravagance was at the expense of the impoverished populace. The court was also rife with rumors of conspiracies and plots. Catherine's reliance on favorites and her often publicized romantic liaisons created an environment ripe for gossip and intrigue. Her relationship with her son, Paul, was particularly strained, with rumors of plots and counterplots to secure the succession. Paul's eventual ascension and his subsequent assassination only added to the murky legacy of Catherine's court. Chapter 9. The Cultural Legacy. Despite the scandals, Catherine's cultural impact is undeniable. She was a patron of the arts and greatly expanded the Hermitage Museum, turning it into one of the world's most significant art collections. Her reign saw a flowering of Russian culture, with advancements in literature, music, and architecture. Catherine's cultural policies were part of her broader strategy to position Russia as a major European power. By promoting Western art and ideas, she sought to modernize Russia and integrate it more fully into the European cultural sphere. This cultural renaissance, however, was not without its critics, who viewed it as a superficial veneer masking the deep-seated issues within Russian society. Chapter 10. The Lasting Impact. Catherine the Great remains a towering figure in history, her legacy a blend of grandeur and scandal. Her achievements in expanding and modernizing Russia are significant, yet they are interwoven with tales of personal excess and political ruthlessness. The untold stories of her scandals highlight the complexities of her character and reign. Catherine's life and legacy continue to fascinate historians and the public alike. Her story is a reminder of the multifaceted nature of historical figures, where achievements and flaws coexist. The scandals, whether exaggerated or true, add a human dimension to her legacy, making her not just a distant empress, but a vivid, relatable character in the annals of history. Catherine the Great's life was a tapestry of triumphs and tribulations, marked by extraordinary achievements and equally extraordinary scandals. Her reign transformed Russia, but it also left behind a legacy of controversies and myths that continue to captivate and provoke debate. And that's it from this video. See you in the next one.